What's up, everybody? And today we're checking out how an A10 Warthog's GAUA Avenger works, which is basically the gun that it has on the bottom of it. This is an animated video on how that functions, which I've always had these questions about Gatling guns and how they really function like this. It's, well, it's, it's, it's not really a Gatling gun. It's more of a, 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 um, a cannon, to be honest with you, because it shoots 30 millimeter. Um, so it is a pretty hefty thing. This is by Sengoku 3D. I think that's how you say it. I will leave a link in the description. First line of my description, as always. Head over there if you want to see it without me waffling over the top of it. Go and check that out. I wanted to watch this because obviously I specialized in smaller rifles being in the Royal Marines Commandos. And so seeing something as bigger like this, I'm wondering how much of that translates over between the two. So, um, yeah, let's have some fun with this. It is a 3D animation. It's only a short video. So let's take our time and let's have a cheeky peek. I don't think there's going to be any dialogue over it. 30 millimeter cannon. There it is underneath. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That was really quick there. So it's a barrel of rounds. <clears throat> Holy, that's absolutely mental, isn't it? My biggest wonder is what happens if one of them unlinks by accident or something. It just gets a jam. How many, how many times do these get jams? All right, so obviously it's doing this fast. I'm sure it's going to slow it right down soon. Great bit of animation, whoever created it. Well, the YouTuber, if they created this, this is very, very good. So they're taking it out of the actual Warthog. Let's have a look here. So you've got the barrel of rounds. I wonder how many, how many rounds that barrel can hold. These are all the different components that it's showing. Does it feed two rounds at the same time, or is that an, that's a ejector as well as a inserter yeah it looks like that part bottom parts for ejecting all right let's see magazine drum does it say how i was gonna say how, no it doesn't say how much is it feed shoot return shoot bypass shoot what's the bypass for okay 30 times 173 millimeter rounds I think that's supposed to be 173 times 30 millimeter rounds, isn't it? You might have got that the wrong way there. It's a lot of rounds, to be honest with you. So they go through there and they get inserted into the gun. The gun is already spinning. It's not going to show like the firing pin, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, was that? Can we slow that down? So the round gets shot. It goes all the way around the gun and gets shot, and then bypasses out. So I, it's not like a. Uh, I thought it would like go in at the very top and come out. Go in at the very top and come out. Like literally, like only a barrel length. But it doesn't. It goes all the way around the gun, which is very interesting. I did not know that. Here we go. So that's where it's getting load that's where it's getting loaded in and then it probably gets shot up here. And if I remember correctly with some of the other guns, it's a, the 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 mechanics of the barrel rotating is electric, right? I don't know whether it is with this one. It might be. But obviously in a rifle that I would use in the Royal Marines, the way that it would reload would be through the firing of the round itself would push back the bolt and everything, put it in place, and then bring it forward. Do you get what I'm saying? And so I don't think that that happens with this. So where it where it comes back up here at the top, that's probably this right here where it's being pushed back. That might be a byproduct of the explosion of the round moving forward, and they might be utilizing that to bring that back again. I'm just talking about the rotation of this might be electric, right? All right, so you can presume it's shot on the most upright barrel. Or no, probably like here. If it's starting to be pushed back there, then it's being shot here. And then this is pushing, the round must be pushing it back. The explosion must be pushing it back. And therefore the, the, ca the case is just being scooped right back out there 
it's mental to think how quick this actually operates as well <clears throat> like the speed it operates is mind-blowing where is it putting them empty cases are they going back in the barrel oh so the cases aren't ejected the cases are going oh my god that's actually really smart i thought the cases were just ejected but they're not they're put right back in the barrel and then which they could probably be recycled and used again that is the probably the most shocking part about this that i didn't know great animation by the way it looks like they've got more here about anti-tank and stuff i did not know that the rounds went back in the barrel that's probably the part that shocked me the most out of all of it that and the fact that the round goes all the way around the bar all the way around like the the circle of the barrels i didn't think it did that i think it just went in shot and then came out do you know what i mean and so for it to go all the way around it, i mean it makes sense now i've seen the animation right but i've only been working with single barrel weapons i have shot a minigun off the side of a ship um but we didn't really do much of the maintaining and cleaning of that weapon we did bits of it but not much of it that was mostly done by the navy lads we just went and used it if we had to do you know what i mean if anything we only maintained the the gpmgs that were on the front and the back of the ship and so I didn't really get to see much of the mechanics of it. It was mostly, here's how you load it. Here's how you shoot it. Here's how you, you stow it away, you know? Um, so very interesting to see the mechanics of this, even though this is probably a little bit different than the one that I used. It was massively different, actually, com considering the size. Um, very great animation. 3D mil tech. And it was by um, Sengu Sengoku 3D. I will leave a link in the description. What a fascinating video. It makes me want to watch more videos like this where I'm actually looking at the, at the innards of these weapons and how they're actually made and how they're actually work, how, how the process of it works. Because if you think about how quick this actually shoots, that process we saw there, you'd have to speed that up like tenfold to get an actual accurate representation of what it looks like in use, which is almost like unfathomable. What a great word to use. Unfathomable, isn't it? Great video. Absolutely fascinating. There will be a link, like I said, if you want to watch the video without me waffling over the top of it, there'll be a uh, link in the description, in the first line of the description. It says, um, 3D software with Cinema 4D. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Go over there and give it a subscribe and have some fun with it and let me know what you think very very interesting and don't forget to like comment subscribe on this video helps with that mysterious youtube algorithm sengoku 3d it looks like you are very very good at your job and i will certainly check out more of your videos if you're okay with it anyway don't forget to go over to his channel and give it a like until next time i love you all have a wonderful day goodbye